So, um, what we're going to do this morning is we're going to look at the EMG of the uh, parasternal muscles up here at the top of the chest, and also the EMG of the diaphragm, which we're going to record from this esophageal EMG uh, catheter. And we're going to look at that measure of neural respiratory drive during quiet breathing. And we're also going to measure the pressures. So this catheter has got esophageal and gastric pressure measurement capability. And we can measure the transdiaphragmatic pressure. So we're going to do all that during resting breathing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stimulate your breathing, make you breathe more, by entraining carbon dioxide into the system, which will make you breathe more. And we'll see what happens as you breathe more to the drive to these muscles of breathing. And that will allow us to calculate the slope of the increased drive. And we think that that's a very useful thing to document, to measure. Because in patients with disease, we anticipate that the slope will be much steeper, reflecting the fact that they have much less reserve capacity in their system. So that's the purpose of today's uh, study. So here we see a uh, screenshot showing the EMG and the pressures. So the top trace is the EMG of the diaphragm, but the big signals are the ECG. And here's the parasternal EMG. And if I ask uh, the subject to take a big breath in, please, you can see much more obviously, of course, the EMG activity. And then below, we've got the pressure traces, the uh, esophageal pressure here, the gastric pressure and the transdiaphragmatic pressure. And if we just have a small sniff, please, then you can see the sniff pressures. And again, the sniff pressures um, of the esophageal, the gastric and the transdiaphragmatic pressure.